Let's see the chapter sound. Every day your life is filled with multitude of sounds. Sound can let you communicate with others or let others communicate with you. Sound plays an important role in our life. It helps us to communicate with one another. We hear a variety of sounds in our surroundings. It can be the sound of animals and birds, musical instruments, vehicles, or something else. It can be a warning of danger or simply an enjoyable experience. How is sound produced? Sound is produced through vibration. And what is this vibration? It's nothing but the to and fro or the back and forth motion of an object. Let's try an activity. Take a rubber band. Put it around the longer side of a pencil box. Insert two pencils between the box and the stretched rubber band. Now plug the rubber band somewhere in the middle. Do you hear any sound? Does the band vibrate? Yes, we can hear the sound on plucking the rubber band. We can see the vibrating rubber band too. That means all vibrating bodies produce sound. Sing a song or buzz like a bee. Put your hand on your throat. Do you feel any vibration? Yes. In humans, the sound is produced by the voice box or it's also called the larynx. It is the upper end of the windpipe. Two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for the passage of air. When lung force air through the slit, the vocal cords vibrates producing sound. How do we hear? We hear sounds through our ears. Let's see the shape of our ear. The shape of our outer ear is like a funnel. When sound enters in it, it travels down a canal at the end of which a thin membrane, that is our ear drum, is stretched tightly. Sound vibrations make the eardrum vibrate. The eardrum sends signals to the inner ear. From there, the signal goes to the brain. That is how we hear. Always remember this motivational quote. Work hard in silence. Let your success be your noise.